Neil, good to see you again. Uh, obviously, frustrating uh, result last time out. Things didn't go your way, I guess. Um, what, what did you take from that fight? I mean, do you feel, I mean, are there still lessons to learn at this point in your career? Yeah, 100%. I mean, the biggest lesson I feel like I had to learn over and over and over is just getting complacent. Like, uh, as much as I wanted to, like, just say, like, oh, it was a bad night. It was a rough night. Uh, my coach kind of forced me to go back and watch that fight. Um, he actually picked up some, uh, some patterns and techniques that I was, like, kind of letting slide in training and that kind of thing. And he pointed them out to me. Um, so I've been really, like, uh, alert and attentive to, like, what I'm doing in training. That way it doesn't lead to, like, bad habits in a fight. So um, as frustrating as it was to experience, that it was definitely a, a lesson learned I mean it could have been a lot worse than what it was <laughs> that's interesting I'm, is that a hard lesson for you to accept I mean I think you know as a veteran like yourself in this game I mean do you feel like oh, come on coach I know what I'm doing in there yeah, I mean, and it's easy to come by. I mean, it's easy to complacent it the more you do it. I mean, uh, uh, I can remember being 28 years old, I can remember fight Dave Mai, who was 30 at the time, and at the time I'm riding a seven-fight win streak. I'm like, oh, I'm going to fight this old man? I got this. I got it in the bag. And I go out there, and he schools me pretty well. So I'm like, huh, this is a kind of recurring thing. Like, I put some fights together, then I'll get, like, complacent and stuck in my ways and uh, um, tend not to, like, look to coaches for advice. Like, hey, coach, sit back. I got this one. But um, I have coaches for reason. I, I need to be able to trust them and rely on them and uh, understand that they um, have my best interest in mind at all times. Yeah, it sounds like you're not trying to make any excuses whatsoever and own it up to it, but it, did Abu Dhabi have anything to do with it? I mean, that was kind of a weird environment to, to, to deal um, with, right? I don't think so. I mean, at this point, I've literally fought all over the world. I mean, uh, Europe, Asia, Middle East now, like it's literally all over the place. So um, I don't necessarily think they try anything to do with it, but uh, I don't know, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, you're back. Uh, the matchup with Jeff, uh, a matchup that was put together before, is it a matchup that you, that you wanted to see come back together, or does that even matter to you? Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's uh, it's more about, like, me redeeming myself and doing the things that I know I'm capable of doing. Uh, it just so happened that Jeff is the guy to get to go out there and fight next. Um, um, I have a lot of respect for him as a competitor. He's done a lot of good things in the sport so far. Um, I, up until the fight with uh, uh, Stevie Thompson, he was undefeated, so uh, in the UFC at least. So to be able to go out there and test myself against uh, another comer like that um i'm kind of excited about it i mean like um as dominant as my last couple of wins have been everyone likes to put an asterisk on I'm like oh yeah neil dominated robbie lawler but robbie lawler's on the back side of his career so it's like like you know what like let me give me these up-and-coming guys that like you guys want to see in the top 10 top five and let me face them in their prime so um there's no asterisk there's no second guessing there's no um maybe he beat this guy because he was past his prime anything like that it's like i can hang the best in the world so that's what i'm going out there to do nice when you break these kind of newcomers down i mean is there stuff that excites you or concerns you about their styles? I mean, at this point, are you like, dude, I've, I've seen, like, you're literally not going to throw anything at me I haven't seen before. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they, they definitely won't throw anything new that you haven't seen before, but, like, the, the speed and explosion is definitely something that comes with the youth. So uh, that's definitely something I have to take consideration, and I, I had to uh, think of all through training camp. So I can't just, like, like all right, go out there and rely on cardio because he's a, he's a high-paced fighter, and he has that explosive, uh, explosive power as well. So um, during my training, I had to take that into account and have to train for that as well so as much as I'd like to like just go and run my three miles here and there and do all this cardio training I have to really step it up and work on uh, power and explosive energy as well very nice last thing for me I mean obviously you want to pick up a win here I mean is there any type of special accomplishment or, or statement that you're trying to make here I mean you've, you've proven everything <laughs> in your career but I, I just wonder if, if, if there's any kind of added emphasis behind things uh, 100% it's go out there and put on an exciting fight I mean this is a, 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 an amazing fight card for me to go out there and do just that uh, so I feel like this stage is set for me to go out there and shine and really kind of uh, uh, take steps away from my peers as far as the welterweight division goes so uh, I feel like it's a good opportunity to go out there and do that you said you fought everywhere, all around the world, but not everywhere has race cars going around your hotel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you said you want to start fighting up and comers and prove that you can beat these guys as they've got the hype behind them. Usually we hear fighters say that it's best to stay away from comments and social media. So why are you taking motivation from those naysayers and trying to change that sort of... Um, well, it's just... It, it, I mean, in life, I said I didn't think of those things myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, Robert Lauder, for example, is a guy I trained since I was 19 years old. So, being a fight Robert Lauder at 32, um, I could definitely feel like, all right, you know what? Maybe the guy's a little different. But uh, to go out there and prove myself, right, is what I, is what I want to do. I want to go out there and fight the best guys in their best uh, uh, state. I want to be able to beat them in their prime and that kind of thing. Um, and that allows me to feel better about my accomplishments and my wins as well. So, anyone in particular you're thinking of when you say that? 
good. And I, there's one guy, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll keep his name out of the mic. He's all over the place already. So, uh, yeah, that newcomer will get his when the day come. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank you, guys.